ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஆம் பாலாஜி ராவ் வெல்கம் டு பி ஆர் மேக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு கேலிகுலேட் திஸ் இன்டிகிரல் இஃப் கிவன் இன்டிகிரல் இஸ் எனி ஒன் ஆஃப் திஸ் த்ரீ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் த ப்ரொசீஜர் இஸ் சேம் வாட் இஸ் தட் ப்ரொசீஜர் இனிஷியலி வி வில் ஸ்டார்ட் த ப்ராப்ளம் லைக் திஸ் வி வில் ரைட் பி எக்ஸ் பிளஸ் கியூ ஆஸ் ஏ இன்டு derivative of ax square plus bx plus c plus b and we will proceed first you identify this integral is of which form you observe the numerator numerator is in the form of px plus q that we can identify very easily you observe the denominator square root is not there and this expression is of the form ax square plus bx plus c so the given integral is of this form if the given integral is any one of these three forms the procedure is same first we will write px plus q like this here what is the expression px plus q here that expression is 5x minus 2 5x minus 2 i'll write it as a into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c that means the expression 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus b now i'll differentiate this expression what we will get that equal to a into derivative of 1 1 is constant derivative of constant is 0 plus derivative of 2x is 2 plus derivative of 3x square 3 is constant derivative of x square is 2x 3 into 2x is 6x plus b here 5x minus 2 equal to a into 2 plus 6x plus b our first target is to find the values of a and b to find the values of a and b i'll multiply this whole expression with a multiply what you will get you will get 2a plus 6ax first i'll write the x term it will be useful a into 6x that is 6ax plus 2 into a 2a plus b here you can observe that x coefficient is 6a and the constant part is 2a plus b okay so this side what is there 5x minus 2 we got like this our main intention is to find the values of a and b to find the values of a and b i'll compare the coefficients you observe here what is x coefficient x coefficient is 5 here what is x coefficient x coefficient is 6a now i'll compare the coefficients what you will get you will get that 5 equal to 6a and you compare the constants here constant is what here constant is minus 2 equal to here what is the constant part constant part is 2a plus b okay from this we can write what is a what is a a equal to 5 divided by 6 a value is 5 by 6 now i'll substitute this a value in this equation to get the value of b minus 2 equal to 2 into what is a a is 5 divided by 6 plus b now this 2 in this 6 3 times will get cancel here 5 by 3 is remaining you take 5 by 3 to this side what you will get here b equal to minus 2 here plus 5 by 3 is there na take it to this side it will become minus 5 by 3 okay so b equal to Minus six minus five. That is minus eleven divided by three. So you got the values of a and b. Now I'll substitute this a value b value in this equation one. Substitute a value b value in equation one. What you will get? You will get that five x minus two equal to a. What is a? A is five divided by six into two plus six x plus b what is the value of b we got we got that b value is minus 11 divided by 3 now in this integral in place of 5x minus 2 we can write this expression okay see here you this is the continuation of the question you observe here integral of 5x minus 2 in place of 5x minus 2 what you can write 5 by 6 into 2 plus 6x here plus of minus is what plus of minus is minus 11 divided by 3 whole divided by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square actually what we did in this integral in place of 5x minus 2 i written this expression that's it now we you see this expression of the form a minus b divided by c this can be written as a by c minus b by c 
Here, I will consider this expression as a minus b divided by c. So, this integral we can write like this that equal to integral of 5 by 6 into 2 plus 6x divided by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square c a divided by c minus b divided by c minus 11 by 3 divided by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx okay now what i'll do i'll integrate each and every term integral of this expression minus integral of this expression while writing integral of this expression, you observe the numerator. Numerator here 5 by 6. 5 by 6 is constant. We can write this constant outside the integral like this. That equal to 5 by 6 into integral of 2 plus 6x divided by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx. I am integrating each and every term here. 5 by 6 is constant taken outside the integral minus integral of this expression you observe the numerator here 11 by 3 is constant we can write it outside the integral like this 11 by 3 into integral of 1 divided by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx okay right that equal to 5 by 6 into you observe here in this model px plus q divided by ax square plus bx plus c in this model every problem at this point we will get like this only you observe that numerator is the derivative of denominator every problem of this type at this point we will get like this numerator is the derivative of denominator if you want you can check derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of 2x is 2 plus derivative of 3x square is 6x we learn this formula in integration by substitution what is that integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx what is the formula for this if numerator is the derivative of denominator its formula is log mod f of x plus c this is the formula we learned in previous classes here numerator is the derivative of denominator so you can write its answer directly what is its answer log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square minus 11 by 3 into we need to integrate this this integral is of which form integral of 1 divided by ax square plus bx plus c dx this type of integral problems i did around 20 problems you please watch the videos from class number 70 to class number 90. if the given integral is of the form 1 divided by ax square plus bx plus c first we will consider the expression ax square plus bx plus c here what is that expression that expression is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square actually it is in not in right order i'll write the right order so to avoid the confusion so what is the right order first x square term next x term next constant after considering the expression ax square plus bx plus c you make sure that x square coefficient is 1 if x square coefficient is not 1 we will make x square coefficient 1 by taking that number common here x square coefficient is 3 we need x square coefficient 1 so we will make x square coefficient 1 by taking 3 common what you will get here x square plus 2 by 3 into x plus 1 divided by 3 i hope you are understanding that equal to 3 into now my main intention is i want to write this expression in any one of these forms a square plus x square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square i want to write this expression into any one of these three forms for that we have a particular procedure what is that procedure first you write the brackets like this x is fixed whenever you want to write this type of expression into this form these things are always fixed here x is fixed here square is fixed here minus is fixed now after x square what sign is there same sign we will write here after x square plus sign is there so we will write plus only now we need to find some number here we need to write some number here how to find that number you always keep 2x in your mind 2x into some number 2x into what number will gives you 2x by 3 you think 2x into what number will gives you 2x by 3? 
2x into 1 by 3 is 2x by 3. So that number is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 minus square of this number. 1 by 3 whole square is 1 by 9. So what happened here? If you simplify this expression, please observe here. If you simplify this expression, what you will get? You will get that x square plus 2x by 3. What is remaining? Remaining is plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. Okay. So that equal to 3 into yes x plus 1 by 3 whole square. Now we need to simplify this minus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3. LCM is 9. What you will get here? Minus 1 plus 3. Right. So 3 minus 1 is 2 divided by 9. So this is plus 2 divided by 9. Right. So that equal to 3 into x plus 1 by 3 whole square plus this 2 can be written, 2 by 9 can be written as root 2 divided by 3 whole square because I want to write this expression in any one of these forms a square plus x square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square. So what happened here we came to know that 1 plus 2x plus 3x square can be written as 3 into x plus 1 by 3 whole square plus root 2 by 3 whole square. Now in this integral in place of 1 plus 2x plus 3x square, I can write this that equal to 5 by 6 into log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square minus 11 divided by 3. Here you see this 3 is a constant here. If this 3 comes, we can write it outside the integral. Here already 3 is there now. 3 into 3 is what? 9 into integral of 1 divided by x plus 1 by 3 whole square plus root 2 divided by 3 whole square dx. Okay. So further if you write what you will get 5 by 6 into log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square minus 11 by 9 into. We need to integrate this. If you observe this integral, this integral is of this form. Integral of 1 divided by x square plus a square dx. What is integral of 1 divided by x square plus a square dx? The formula is 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a plus c. This formula we learned in previous classes. Here actual thing is we need to integrate this by substitution method. But if I do substitution method here, it creates unnecessary confusion. The thing is you can write its answer directly if you know this formula. You observe here how to write its answer directly. You observe here in place of x, x plus 1 by 3 is there. In place of a, root 2 by 3 is there. So you just apply this formula wherever a is there, there you write root 2 by 3. Wherever x is there, there you write x plus 1 by 3. Just start applying the formula. What is the formula? 1 divided by a. What is a? a is root 2 divided by 3 into tan inverse of x wherever x is there there we will write x plus 1 by 3 divided by a in place of a we will write root 2 by 3 i just applied this formula we got the answer directly here if i simplify this here 3 in this 9 3 times so what you will get here that equal to 5 by 6 into log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square minus 11 divided by 3 into root 2 3 root 2 into tan inverse of here in the numerator part if i simplify what you will get 3x plus 1 divided by 3 3x plus 1 divided by 3 in the denominator root 2 divided by 3 is there in the numerator part 3 denominator part 3 will get cancelled what you will get 3x plus 1 divided by root 2 I hope you are understanding plus c that's it so these problems are little lengthy problems but if you practice 4 to 5 problems continuously the procedure what we are following you can understand it very easily